my YouTube channel. My name is Courtney for those of you who are new and welcome back. Today in this video, I'm going to be doing a day in the life. I tested positive for COVID-19, so now I have to quarantine myself for 14 days in my room. So the only time I can leave my room is to get food and I have to make sure all my other family members are in their rooms when I leave. And my sister tested positive and my mom tested positive and my dad is getting COVID tested tomorrow. So this is my day one of quarantine and I'm going to walk you guys through it. I'm not really going to like do everything because it's technically already nighttime and the day is already like almost over. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through what I did today. So, first off, this is my OOTD. I'm wearing an Oklahoma State shirt because I actually just got back from an Oklahoma State school tour and I loved it. I'm so glad to possibly call Oklahoma State my future college home. Um, I love the campus, love the colors, I love the family atmosphere, I love their traditions, and I love every single thing about the campus. So, so excited about that. Um, just got back from that yesterday, so so cool um so i woke up 10 o'clock this morning got into my ootd for the day because i'm not really leaving the room so didn't want to get too dressed up just some sweatpants and a t-shirt and then i walked into my bathroom and i started the day off with my morning routine just like i typically do every day um my morning routine you guys already saw that so i'm not gonna really um, reiterate what all that stuff was but you can check back to my previous YouTube videos for morning routine if you're curious on what that looks like so after my morning routine it was probably like 10 30 and it was about 10 30 ish and then I jumped to starting my homework for the day because I'm still in school for two more weeks three more weeks ish so I still have homework that I have to complete so that takes up a lot of my time so that's good because you know, it wastes some time and I'm stuck in my room for 14 days, so might as well do some homework, right? So I I stopped doing that around 11 o'clock because at 11 o'clock it was my time to go to the backyard and just enjoy different scenery, take my dogs out to go to the restroom and just sit out there for like 45 minutes and just enjoy the nature and stuff like that. So I did that at 11 and then I came inside at 12 o'clock with my dogs and myself and I came back to my room <laughs> um and then at 12 o'clock I started more homework um I have a lot of homework that I have to do because it's like the last we're in like the last three weeks of school so that's when projects start up and all that fun stuff so I started homework at 12 o'clock and then at 12 o'clock or and then after that I did homework for like a while today. Um, it, actually, it actually lasted a while. Um, and then I did it until about 1.30. And then at 1.30, I got to go to my kitchen. Yay, I got to leave my room to cook lunch. And I got to cook lunch. And with COVID-19 symptoms that I have, I don't really have an appetite like at all. And so I don't really get hungry. So, and I can't taste anything. Um, that's a major symptom that I have. So like I literally like can't taste anything that I eat So I don't really care what I eat. So um, And I can't smell it either. So like it's not like it affects me. So I just made um So I just made like some pasta like little like a little small portion I didn't eat a lot. So I did that and then I had to go back to my room by 2 o'clock. So I was only out of my room for 30 minutes because my sister also needs to leave her room to make lunch. So that's kind of how that went. So I got back to my room at 2 o'clock. I ate my lunch. Yummy. And then after that, at 2 o'clock, I started some more homework. And I did that. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Quarantining isn't really fun when you're by yourself. It's different when, like, your whole family can quarantine together. But when you're, like, stuck in a room, it's, like, it's not fun. I, I highly recommend you guys to wear your mask and to stay safe and wash your hands because having COVID is not fun. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, basically, I did homework from 2 o'clock until about 4 o'clock is when I finished my homework for the day today. 
And then four o'clock, I decided that I was going to work out and I created this little workout routine that I wanted to do. Um, I just kind of like looked up a bunch of stuff and I figured that I wanted to do all these different workout exercises and figure out which ones I like best and then continue with those. So yeah, I worked out at four o'clock after I had completed most of my homework I needed to get done for the day. And then I finished around 4.45. That was my little workout sesh. And then after that, at 4.45, um, I decided to just like watch TV. And yes, I made a list and a schedule and planned out my day because if I don't, I would literally go psycho and sit in a room and stare like at the wall all day. And I would be like so depressed. So I have to make a little schedule. So I watched TV probably until about 5.30. That's the first time I watched TV all day today. So props to me because it's important not to watch TV like all the time. And then at 5.30, I took a shower because you got to stay clean. And especially when you're quarantining, you tend to clean a lot more often because you don't really have a lot to do. And then at 6 o'clock, um... Between the hours of 6 and 7, I read my Bible and spent some time with the Lord because that's probably the most important thing to do during quarantine. Spend time with God. Um, and then at 7 o'clock, between, between 7 and 7.30, I got to go back to the kitchen for dinner. So I had 30 minutes to cook my dinner and bring it back to my room. So between, the, between 7 and 7.30, I went to go cook dinner and then I brought it back to my room. Um, at 7.30, I finished up my dinner, and then at 7.30, I FaceTimed my boyfriend because, you know, I can't see him for 14 days, so, and he works all throughout the day and doesn't get home till like, 6, so I can't FaceTime him until he's off work. So, at 7.30, I FaceTimed him until about 8.30, and then while I was on FaceTime with him, I, w I did my nighttime routine. Um, which in a previous video, I have that linked in my YouTube as well. So go look at my previous videos and you will see my nighttime routine of 2020. I will also be doing an updated nighttime routine in the next couple months. So stay tuned if you're interested. I know those videos are very popular. So if you guys like that, check that out a little bit later. Um, and then at 8 30, I watched The Bachelor, and usually that takes about an hour and a half to two hours. No, usually about an hour and a half of my time. So that's good because it wastes a lot of time, and it's a lot of fun. So that's one perk of my day. Um, that was that was a lot of fun. Um, so then at around at around uh, ten o'clock, that is over, and um, I have this little like book of questions. So at ten o'clock. I um, have this like book of questions that I like answer questions in and I answered like three pages worth of questions. So that took, that wasted a good 30 minutes of my night. And then at 1030, um, I FaceTimed Jack. And while I was on FaceTime, I was looking around my room to think of, you know, different things I could um, do like at night when, cause at night is usually when I get really bored. So I was looking around my room just to see like what I could do at night. And I found some stuff and I wanna show you guys. So, so I found this little like hair um, product that I wanna try. Um, I found all these like cool like nail polishes in my bathroom that I wanna do. Um, maybe like each day I could do a different color or something fun like that. Um, I have like these really cool pinks. There's another pink. I have a cool red color. It's really cool. I have an orange color, which really matches my Oklahoma State shirt and my scrunchie. And I have like all these like sparkly colors. And like, look at this whole box of like colors. Like there's just so much I can do with that. And so maybe I can like, look, this whole bucket of colors, like there's just so much. And then this is like a clear coat color. It's like a clear coat. And then what is this color? It's a glow in the dark color. There's just, I don't even know where all these come from because I haven't bought nail polish in like, I don't even know how long. So there's like a purple, 
There's all these like sparkly ones. So I'm gonna be testing some of these out and I might even do like a YouTube video about this cause like it's kind of cool, you know? With like all these colors, like this is all nail polish. All of this is nail polish. I don't even buy nail polish anymore. So like, I don't even know where this came from. And then a part of my nighttime routine, I'm gonna do face mask. You know, during quarantine, you gotta do a face mask. So these are the ones I'm gonna be doing these next two weeks. So I'm actually gonna do one probably like tomorrow. And this is a steam eye mask that I wanna try. I know in a previous YouTube video, I have shown you guys, um, I've shown you guys videos like, of all the face masks that I have. So some of these might look familiar to you guys for those of you who've seen that YouTube video that I have on here. Um, this one I'm gonna do tomorrow. It's a steam eye mask, eye mask. So I might be making a YouTube video trying this out. So stay tuned, maybe tomorrow. That's gonna be a, a steam eye mask. And then along with that, the same night, I'm gonna do this peel off clay mask. It is sweet tea and lemon flavor. And it's gonna smell so good, but I can't smell because of COVID, so I won't be able to smell it. But um, it's a clearing face mask. So that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. And then next week, while I'm still quarantining, I'm going to do, or not next week, but like later on, I'm gonna do um, like probably in like seven days, like six days, I'm gonna do this peel off mask it's called neon vibes i've had this mask for like a year so i want to like use it um it's a ghosted clearing pores mask so it helps your pores and it's the freeman brand and this one's also a freeman brand i've had these like just the same amount of time so i want to get these like i want to use these because i've had these for so long and i haven't done a clay mask in a while so i usually do paper masks now but i'm gonna try something new so I'm gonna do that later on this week. And then next week, I'm gonna do this paper mask. It's like peachy. It's like, it says replenishes and hydrates. And it's like a peach scent flavor and it smells so good. But I only know that because I've done this mask before, but I love it. So I'm gonna do it again next week. And then along with that one, I'm gonna do a foot mask next week and I might actually like make a YouTube video of me doing these so, so stay tuned it'll be so interesting so yeah those are all the masks I'm gonna be doing during quarantine and I'm gonna start those probably tomorrow so like I said stay tuned um and then also during this FaceTime call with my boyfriend I laid out all the stuff for my nighttime routine because I'm gonna have to do a nighttime routine tonight that I have not done yet. Um, but I have my little headband that I have in all my routines. I have my face wash. My dog wanted in. Got my little Cetaphil, um, a gentle skin cleanser that I adore. Like if you literally can't find a face wash that will clear your skin, this is it. Ignore my acne though. I have not washed my face in like three days. So my face broke out. Yeah And I didn't take my makeup off my face on Saturday or Sunday. So yeah, my face broke out And then I use my little washcloth to take that off and I use my toothbrush and toothpaste my mouthwash my floss and then I also have moist mist toner that they do not sell anymore. I think I showed you guys this in a previous YouTube video But it smells so good. So well, I can't even smell it, but I know it smells good because I've smelled it before. And then I have the stress relief lotion that I'm going to be using for the next two weeks because I need some stress relief, especially with COVID and everything else going on in the world today. Um, and then I have this new product that I'm going to be trying, um, a part of my nighttime routine, at least for the next like two weeks. It is a Shia sugar scrub and it's coconut lime flavor. It actually smells really, really good and it's a super strong scent, but I can't smell it right now. But yeah, I can't smell it. Um, but I know it smells really good and it's just so good. And what it does is like you literally take just a little bit. You don't, you don't even need a lot of it and you like put it on your hands and your feet and it makes them really, really soft and smooth. And it's like, 
it's like a miracle and like literally you can buy these at walmart for like five or six bucks but this one i actually bought from amazon but this one's an older one like i've had this for a while i also have a rose scented one hi baby i also my dogs are here i also have a rose scented one but like yeah so but the rose scented one is my sister's so but yeah so that's like really all the stuff that i laid out on my facetime call and then after that, like, right now it's currently, like, 11 o'clock, so, um, that's pretty much all I've done tonight, and then I started making this YouTube video, so I'm probably gonna go to bed in, like, 45 minutes, because, I mean, I have really nothing else to do other than finish this YouTube video, and then, like, go on social media before bed, and maybe watch some TV, and play with my little dog. I have two dogs, but my other ones, I don't know, so I'll show you guys my dog really quick. So, her name is Juliet. She's a girl. We've only had her for, like, I think like a year but look she's smelling all that coconut lime on my hands and I can't even smell it I'm literally so annoyed but the good thing about like being in quarantine right now is I actually have time to clean up this entire mess in my room and it's so bad oh and then I forgot to tell you all about dinner tonight for dinner I had potato soup and earlier today I had a uh, like a small portion of uh, pasta but I literally couldn't eat it because like I literally had no appetite it was so bad and I've had, this is my fourth water bottle today because I get a really bad dry mouth with COVID. So yeah. And so here's my potato soup. I've already had one bowl, but my parents said that I need to eat another bowl because I haven't had enough to eat today. So I have to eat that before I go to bed and it's almost midnight and I haven't done my nighttime routine. So I'm going to be up for like probably another hour, but it's okay because I have nothing else to do. So I'm just going to play with my dog for a little bit. But anyway, thank you guys so much for, um, you know, logging into this video. I will be doing a vlog for every single day of my quarantine. So the next 14 days, I'll be doing a vlog. So stay tuned if you're interested to see um, some ideas for quarantine. If you ever have to quarantine and, and if you need any ideas whatsoever, just let me know. Um, my doctor actually told me um, when I tested positive, she said that, there's a lot of things like you can do. You can take a bath just to relax or just take a shower every single day. It wastes 30 minutes of your day and it's just something that you can just do or a bath uh, um, takes up at least an hour of your day. Spend time relaxing and just enjoying yourself and, know, and understanding more about yourself. Spend time with the Lord, read your Bible and just focus on him and, you know, just be yourself and like, just do things that make you happy for 14 days. So, I mean, that can't be hard, right? So anyway, but I will update you guys on my day two of quarantine tomorrow. <laughs> She's so cute. I will update you on my day two once I make that video. I'll make that, I'll make a video like this every single night so you guys can, um, I'll make a video every single night. <laughs> do, I'll make a video. <laughs> That's a blooper. I will make a video every single night for you guys to um, see what my day in the life looks like. I will not walk you through because, like I said, I don't know how to work, like, camera stuff. <clears throat> but I will, um, I will make sure that I, uh, video it, video it that night so you guys can look back and just see what I do in my day-to-day, -day. my day-to-day 14-day -day quarantine with COVID, so yeah and that's pretty much it if you like this video please like and subscribe um i will be having my next like 13 videos will be exactly like this one so if you didn't like it please like dm me on instagram and give me some recommendations on how to make it better or what you guys want to see um i could be i'll probably be doing other um i'll probably be making other videos during um my corona covid 19 quarantine so if there's anything at all that you're interested in seeing let me know i cannot do and i won't i won't be doing any more um answering like dm youtube videos because i've already done two and the next one i want to do is with my boyfriend and i can't see him for two weeks so which really sucks because me and him had plans to go to out of town this weekend so i'm not gonna be able to do that now and now i have to go cancel them because i tested positive for covid so <sighs> that stinks but anyway so I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions at all for videos, DM me on Instagram. And yeah, 
I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.